Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today we wanted to talk about meditation. And you've probably heard about meditation and there's like a zillion different types of meditation. Um, but we wanna just bring in what we call everyday meditation and how to meditate on a daily basis without having to spend hours of eternity <laughs> with your eyes closed today or make it super serious or ultra spiritual um, and but be able to create your own practice of meditation and alignment on a daily basis that works for you so very simply there are all different kinds of meditations and we invite you to kind of search them out and see which ones resonate with you. Um, for us, we're gonna take a minute and just explain what we do on a daily basis so that you have an understanding of how simple and not too serious it can actually be. <laughs> so what we do in the morning is we do our morning routine and then before we start work, we sit down and what I like to do is bring all of my energy and awareness into the divine line. And the divine line is like your heart space, uh, but we call it a line. It's a line that extends from the heart of source through the earth all the way back up. It's like a loop. And it's like a tube of light that flows just in front of your spine in which we bring all of our energy and awareness into, calling back all of your energy and all of your awareness, all your reference points. And then we like to do a little grounding exercise, make sure that we're grounded into the earth and then we connect to source. So we have a process in which we do that. It takes 90 seconds. And then from that spot there, we close our eyes and we just chill and just bring in whatever visions or awareness, inspiration that happens. And the hardest part about meditation is after that 90 seconds when your brain has nothing left to do. And there are times where my ego will start talking and I've created a relationship where I tell my ego to go sit down. Um, and, and literally saying, we're meditating for 60 minutes, you can talk in 60 minutes, go sit down. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. And if you've never meditated before, um, it can be a really big challenge to get that guy to just kind of quiet down a little bit. But if you are sitting in your line and you're grounded and you're connected to source, then there is um, the ability to kind of remove yourself from the mind chatter and become the observer to your thoughts. And that does sound a little bit more difficult than it is, um, especially if you've got like, like really chattery minds. Um, so when you're in that space and you're, and you're up there, it's just allowing whatever those thoughts are to come up, right? Because they are coming up, but they're, they're coming up to kind of self-sabotage you, you see, because if you're in alignment and you're quiet, then that means that the ego goes into fear because then it feels like it's going to die, that it has no purpose, there's nothing to do because you're aligning with your essence. So it's gonna do whatever it can to kind of pull you out of that alignment. Um, so you wanna make sure that you know you acknowledge that that's happening, but don't really pay, your, pay attention to it. I mean, you could sit there quiet, and close your eyes and look like you're meditating and be having a conversation in your head for hours. You don't wanna engage in that conversation. You just wanna let those pieces come up and you can deal with them later. You can say, okay, we'll put that off until later and then reset yourself back in your line. That is a practice in it and of itself. And I will tell you, the very first time I meditated, I think it was, um, two minutes, two minutes, I opened my eyes and I was like, wow, that felt like a really long time. And then I checked the clock and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, but that's how you start. You start with one or two minutes and then each day you build up, you do five minutes. So maybe your first target goal is five minutes and then you build up to 10 and then you build up to 15 and people get really intimidated by the fact that you know there are people out there who meditate for hours well you know they didn't just sit down and close their eyes and all of a sudden boom they can meditate for three hours it was a practice it's a practice that you build up to 
I can meditate for about an hour before my mind starts to get a little twitchy. And then there are days where I can meditate longer. Um, so it's really a practice and in getting into that mode. But the benefits of meditation um, it outweighs the mental mind chatter and the time it takes for you to do it. Um, you can reset your energy in five minutes. You can reset your mindset in five minutes. You can identify something that's coming up for you and release it through meditation. You can calm anxiety. It helps balance the serotonin in your brain and um, combats depression. I mean, these are, these are great mental and emotional health benefits from being able to engage in meditation. So we invite you, if you so choose, to meditate. Um, even if you've never meditated before, start off with a couple of minutes and work your way up each day. I promise you the practice of doing that, you will notice each day, you'll be able to go a little bit longer and a little bit longer and you're gonna start feeling better. But again, the benefits um, outweigh the effort that you place in it. So we offer you that today. And if you need help with meditation, drop by our social networks and hit us up there and we'll direct you in the, um, the right direction. <laughs> so talk to you soon. Have a great day.